So both President Cyril Ramaphosa and his cabinet face motions of no confidence in Parliament today. The African Transformation Movement lodged the first motion against the President. The Democratic Alliance put forward the second against his cabinet. The ATM says it will not take part in its own vote, though, after National Assembly Speaker Nosibi Wemapisa Ngakula denied their request for a postponement. Joining us now in studio is our senior politics reporter, Zianda Ngobo, for more on this story. Zianda, it's great to see you. Uh, welcome back to South Africa. <laughs> Thank and, you. And um, it's a big day for President Cyril Ramaphosa, the business day. I, I like uh, its headline story in its online publication. It says, this, it's hanging over the president like a sword of Damocles, the yeah. first motion of no confidence since he took office. It's very significant that this is the first motion of no confidence against the president. If you look at... Um, how soon it is because if you look at his predecessor I think former President Jacob Zuma started facing several motions of no confidence only in his second term right. this is the president's first term and he's already facing his first motion of no confidence uh, I heard you speak to DA leader John Stian Hazen uh, earlier on and and they're of course uh, filing a motion of no confidence against the cabinet mm -hmm. and really speaking about the conditions under which South Africans are living under high petrol price the unemployment um, statistics coming out yesterday for the fourth quarter etc so what what makes it significant I think is there are still lots of questions about the effectiveness of this government whether or not you're laying the blame at this at the feet of the president or his cabinet that is still um, you know a, a question that still needs answers what I find particularly interesting Michelle you remember that the opposition parties met on the 15th of March um, to discuss this motion of no confidence where um, you know several of them agreed that let this motion be done in, in uh, uh, by secret ballot right. um, but the, it doesn't seem like there's a consensus when you look at the numbers because the DA seems to be saying don't target the president target his cabinet whereas the ATM is saying no let's look at um, you know how the president is leading his cabinet bearing in mind as well Michelle that there's also been accusations that the ATM is a proxy for a faction within the ANC um, and that's they've they've been perceived to be that way so it would seem that um, in that aspect when it comes down to the numbers it doesn't seem like any of these motions might succeed, but even if they do, um, what would the president have to do um, when it comes to um, his, his cabinet? He could still reshuffle his cabinet with the very same ministers. Yeah. Actually, that was my next question for you. Um, is it a foregone conclusion that neither of these motions will succeed today? I wouldn't say it's a foregone conclusion. You never know in politics, Michelle, but... From where I'm standing right now, when you look at the numbers, and again, it goes back to the lack of unity amongst the, the, the opposition. Because if, for instance, the DA was on board with the motion of no confidence against the president, because mm -hmm. they they're the second uh, biggest political party after the ANC, perhaps then that would uh, tip the scale. What could possibly tip the scale is if the caucus of the ANC is so fractured that you have then, um, you know, ANC members who are willing to publicly come out and vote against the president. What's the significance of the DA leader, John Steenhuisen? Because he... He wanted cabinet members excluded from, his, from voting in his motion uh, of no confidence uh, against uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet, right? Yeah. So what's the significance of that hasn't succeeded, cabinet members will take part in this vote, of a roll call? Does that make up for what the DA was trying to do? Yes and no. So from an optics perspective, having, um, you know, MPs individually... Um, publicly so because they didn't want their motion um, you know to be held in secret right. because they believe that South Africans should be privy to what the MPs that they put into power are thinking about their situation that's of really the point of the motion Exa as well exactly yeah. so so you're saying these cabinet members obviously um, you know they 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 would be they have to be out there but the the tricky part I think from um, a logistics perspective is that it's a hybrid system that's another mm -hmm. thing the DA was pushing for to say let's actually have it in person but now also you know the National Assembly was burned down because previously you would have um, you know a button that you press right. yes no abstain yes. and then there would be a record that shows how Michelle Craig voted in this particular motion 
Now, um, what the DA seems to be, if, um, you know, celebrating a victory of is that each individual um, within a political party and not the chief whip on behalf of everyone will be able to say how they voted. So you are a member of the DA and you will vote in your own particular way and not have, uh, be represented. So that's one thing that the National Assembly Speaker granted the DA. However, they do feel strongly, and perhaps there may be a legal challenge there, that how do you allow these cabinet ministers um, in the first motion uh, of no confidence in the cabinet ever in South Africa to participate in this motion when naturally they would have a conflict of yeah, interest? It impacts to, them directly. You're not going to vote against yourself. Obviously. Um, you know, because we even know our culture in South Africa that there isn't a culture of resigning even if there's any speck of impunity. So surely we're not expecting them to vote against themselves. But from an optics perspective, the DA can claim victory because they say they can easily say, well, look at what your MP say. They don't care about you. They don't care about your plight. You heard John Steenhazen saying, you know, they, their petrol is protected. We all mm. know that that is also really hitting the pockets of South Africans. Food prices are going to go up. The unemployment rate is high. It feeds into the already a, f a sense of despondency um, mm. that already exists in society. And I think it's something that the DA is trying to build momentum on. But they're very clear that they're not really placing the blame at the feet of the president. But, but his cabinet instead. Yeah. Yeah, well, thanks, as always, for coming into studio. Uh, whichever way you look at it, both of these motions are significant, whether they succeed or not. And of course, that's a big story we're tracking for you here on the channel. Uh, that debate in the National Assembly, it precedes the vote which will then take place. All of that kicking off at 2 o'clock this afternoon.